Hello there, Dirty Harry here, and today we're going to take a look at a computer controlled 25 caliber Daystate Airwolf pre charged pneumatic. Absolutely, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to charge this gun. So after you get the charger out of the box, and you'll see these connectors that you plug into the end of the charger uh, you're going to want to use the yellow one here it's the one that works with the airwolf you pick up the end of the uh, charger cord and uh, you will see two little holes in it and uh, this side says tip T-I-P you want to pick up the connector, the yellow one, and it has a plus on one side and a minus on the other. So when you see the word tip and you see the plus, then you plug it in like that and it's correctly set up if you're plugging this into the wall uh, into an AC current. Next, you pick up the charging cord, and right behind the trigger is a connector, and all you do is slide the, um, the charger cord into the hole right behind the trigger, and you'll hear two beeps, and now you're ready to charge the gun. Uh, the Airwolf will take about 14 hours to charge, so be sure that you give it the full 14 hours charge uh, before you go to the next step. It's been 14 hours now, so we'll take the uh, charging cord out of the gun and we'll um, put in the key and we'll turn on the gun and uh, get ready for the next step. Next, we will get the gun ready to fill with air and so we just take this cap off of the bottom of the gun and we'll get ready to install the airline. So the nice thing about the Airwolf is you can lay it on its side and we'll get ready to put the uh, airline into the bottom of the gun. It snaps right in just like that. It has an easy to read nano gauge right here on the side of the gun so you don't have to turn the gun uh, upside down to read it and uh, right now we have about 50 bar in the uh, tank so we're going to uh, start filling it up. By being able to have the nano gauge close to the tank gauge I can watch both as I start to fill it up. So we'll start putting some air in it here and we're going to want to bring this up to about 3000 PSI or 200 bar. And we're watching the gauge, it's about a 150 and we're just about up to, there we are at 200 bar on the nanometer on the side of the gun. Now we have the tank at uh, 200 bar or the tank gauge at 3000 psi so we will bleed the valve and now we can safely pull off the airline and we'll put on the cap and get ready for the next step. Now before I show you how to program the gun, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to unprogram the gun. That way if you make a mistake, you will know how to unprogram it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bolt back and slip the 10 shot clip out. And you can leave the, the bolt out or in, doesn't matter. There's, here's your safety. This is on to fire. Notice that the uh, light is on and this is off 
on safety. Okay, with the safety down, I pull the trigger and like so, and then I flip the safety up. And you will hear a series of beeps, one through eight. So here we go. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you don't have to count them, it'll stop at eight. So I let go of the trigger, and that long beep tells you that it that the airwolf is been set back to default or it is now unprogrammed. Now then, we will um, program the shot counter and here we have a 10 shot magazine and uh, what you would normally do is put a pellet in this hole but for this case we don't need to load this to program the shot counter. So what we'll do is we will turn it to the tenth shot as if we were loading it and like so and as it comes around you will see this dot here which lines up with ten o'clock also if you look at it like a clock here's another little mark that lines up with the tenth shot as well and it also lines up with the red dot now the magazine is also spring loaded has a little spring here on the bottom and so every time you cock it, it advances the 10-shot um, magazine one shot, like so. So with the bolt back, I slip in the 10-shot magazine and I bring the bolt forward and down. Now then, we're going to program it so that we can either turn the 10 shot counter on or we can turn the 10 shot counter off. So this time we're going to listen for five beeps. I pull back on the trigger, I flip the safety up to fire, one beep, two beeps, three, four, Five, and I let go of the trigger. Now, if I pull the trigger, you will hear two beeps, meaning that the magazine is on, one beep, it's off. Two, it's on, one, it's off. Two, it's on, one, it's off. So, we're going to leave it at two because we're going to show you the feature of how the magazine counter counts the shots in the 10 shot magazine. Okay, first shot. We push the safety down and we bring it back up. Again, this gun's unloaded, but you can watch this magazine. Watch this little dot as it goes around. Okay, here we go. Shot number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, this will blink once on nine. And here comes the ten shot. And notice this is coming around to nine o'clock, meaning that this is going to be the last shot. So I pull the trigger. There's going to be two beeps, or uh, two beeps and a light, and then it's just going to beep. And that's telling you that you're out of ammunition. It's counted all 10 shots. Okay, I've reloaded the magazine. I put it back in. Theoretically, it's got 10 shots in it, although we know this one isn't loaded. 
You don't have to do this every time. Once you, once you set the, uh, uh, the 10 shot counter, it stays that way until you undo it. So again, here comes 9 and 10. And it's beeping again until you turn off the safety. Now you can take the magazine back out and reload it.